secluded beaches, towering waterfalls, and spectacular landscapes are all found in the West Fjords, Iceland's remote natural splendor. Just look at the view. You can see how beautiful it is. The West Fjords are amazing. There's no place on earth like it. And all around you have untouched beauty and land. Isley Royst has lived here for almost five years. She draws inspiration from it for her photography and her enthusiasm is by no means hers alone. The Australian Lonely Planet Travel Guide listed the West Fjords among its best in travel areas for 2022. One of Isley Royst's favorite spots is the Dinyan de Waterfall. The most challenging things for me, I think as a photographer, are the weather here and the elements because the weather and the elements can both be unforgiving. Um, they can be not so kind to you at times and uh, it's always good to be prepared for all situations here. The West Fjords are a vast maze of fjords and peninsulas. Distances are long. The best way to get around is by car, but in winter, many of the roads stay closed. We have all this uh, abundance of nature and there's no one around. And so you can go hiking, driving, and uh, there won't be anyone around and you'll have pretty much all to yourself. In some ways, I would say the West Fjords makes me feel like I'm in another planet or it's just somewhere so far, like I'm at the edge of the earth or something. Only about 10% of Iceland's tourists ever see the West Fjords, where summers are short and winters long. The land kind of shows you like who's in charge here and the weather because in the end, like the conditions are so harsh in the winter and, and just gives you much appreciation for it. The German American is not only a photographer, but also a filmmaker. On her travels around the island, she observes orcas, Arctic foxes, surfers braving extreme conditions and much more. Stretching 10 kilometers along the West Fjord's southwestern edge is the Reute Santur, or Red Sands. The color of the sand is a rare exception to Iceland's normally pitch black volcanic sand beaches. Isley Royst likes to go jogging here. I really enjoy this beach here in the West Fjords because the remoteness and the uniqueness of it specifically. Um, if I were to go to the North Sea in Germany or a beach in Southern California, it'd be crowded with people. But here, I can just enjoy the nature as it is. Just to the west rises the Lautrabjark Promontory, Europe's westernmost point. The cliffs tower up to 450 meters high. I really can spend hours here, just watching the birds, listening to the waves, photographing the birds, even taking a nap and just relaxing. It's really beautiful and peaceful here. Lautrabjark is also well known as one of the world's largest bird cliffs, making it a popular photo subject. During the summer, millions of seabirds nest on it, including puffins. You can get up close and personal with them here. I found it very easy for me living here in Iceland, and I think the challenges weren't so negative in my opinion. Um, the remoteness, I like the remoteness. Uh, I don't mind being by myself. It can be lonely, you have a lot of darkness, um, but if you have a close group of friends and a community to be with, then I find it okay. Just over 200 kilometers northeast lies Isafjörður, the largest town in the West Fjords with a population of 2,700. It started as a few wooden houses built by fishmongers in the 18th and 19th centuries. Now, Isley Royst lives here. I really can't at the moment see myself uh, living anywhere else in the world. Uh, I mean, look at this place. Where else can you find a view like this and uh, beautiful nature and being so secluded and so far away from all the stress of big cities and life and here's just perfect for me. Iceland's West Fjords a beautiful region still waiting to be discovered.